The worrying South African variant of the COVID virus has slipped the net and has now begun to spread within the UK. Woking in Surrey has two of the 11 cases identified nationwide in recent days who have no links to South African travel. They were detected by chance and there could be more. It just highlights how important and how seriously we need to be taking it. So we've got to be extra careful, that's all. It's a new, new variant, which means it's completely different to the last, so you never know. Public Health England will urgently test 80,000 people in eight areas where the mutated virus is known to have spread. In London, the affected postcodes are in Hanwell, Tottenham and Mitcham. Parts of Maidstone and Woking are also being targeted, as are Broxbourne in Hertfordshire, an area of Walsall and another in Southport. If you live in one of these postcodes where we're sending in enhanced testing, then it is imperative that you stay at home and that you get a test even if you don't have symptoms. This is so important so that we can break the chains of the transmission of this new variant. Now there's a used by date, have a couple of days on them. COVID testing kits will be distributed to homes in the affected areas from Tuesday. Virus samples from positive cases will then have their genetic material decoded to confirm whether the infection is due to the variant. The variant has already led to a surge of cases in South Africa. Precautionary quarantine rules were brought in just before Christmas for travellers entering the UK. 94 have tested positive. But how the virus escaped to spread within the UK is unknown. By the time the Kent variant was detected, the virus was already out of control and it swept rapidly around the country. This time, public health teams believe they spotted the early sparks of an outbreak. And with early action, it gives them a much better chance of snuffing it out. There is no evidence that the South African variant causes more serious disease, but mutations in the virus are causing concern. A variant that is more infectious and is less controlled by the vaccine will continue to spread more rapidly even when we've got vaccine around. But what this does mean is that for, particularly for people who haven't, who are not able to be vaccinated or have declined vaccine, if you're vulnerable, you are going to be at more risk now with these new variants circulating than you would have been with the, uh, the older variants. Public Health England says all the vaccines should still prevent serious illness and death but Moderna is developing a tweaked version of its jab against the South African variant as a precaution. In the meantime, lockdown will slow the spread of all versions of the virus if people stick to the rules. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Woking.